my experience with Linux Mint. Fairly recently, I had bought a second hard drive for my desktop, and I have installed Linux Mint to that hard drive, and here is what I think about using Linux Mint as a daily driver. Linux Mint is fast, stable, robust, and clean, it has everything you need, nothing you don't. You get a friendly welcome screen upon first boot, and this is great for a beginner who has just started using Linux Mint. Mint also looks very similar to Windows, so this makes transitioning from Windows to Linux a bit easier. Linux Mint comes with lots of great pre-installed applications, and if you don't want something, you can simply uninstall it, not like in Windows where you don't get the option to uninstall some programs. Linux Mint comes with Firefox as the default browser, however, you can use Chrome, Brave, Vivaldi, and other browsers, simply by downloading the Debian package from the official websites, or from the built-in software store in Linux Mint. Mint also has a nice variety of wallpapers included, it even has some official images of cities from countries, for example, there is a picture of Indonesia. If you need access to Windows software, you have a few options. 1. Run Wine on Linux Mint, which will run a fair amount of Windows programs, however, Wine does not cut it for every program, so something that's resource hungry, or requires direct access to hardware, will not necessarily work under Wine, or a virtual machine for that matter, however, running a virtual machine provides an easy solution to access some more basic software, like Microsoft Office 365 and Windows-specific applications such as Notepad++, Balabulka, or WinRAR. Linux Mint also comes with no telemetry tracking by default, there is literally only one privacy setting in Mint, and that's called Never Forget Old Files, which of course is related to files stored on your system, and you can set a number of days before the files get automatically deleted. Linux Mint's updates are also quite good. They don't break your system like the Windows updates do on Windows 11, Mint is known for being far less buggy and unstable than Windows, and if you choose Mate of XFCE, these ones are officially the most stable, because they use the least amount of resources, so if your PC cannot run Cinnamon, you have some other flavors you can go with, and I recommend you look at the Mate and XFCE editions of Linux Mint, if you're going to use it, or try it out. So, what do I think of my overall experience with Linux in general? Well, Linux Mint is super popular, and it deserves the attention it gets, because of how good it is, and Ubuntu is great too, but for a Windows user, Mint might be a bit easier, since it's more like a traditional desktop, and it's a lot more like Windows, whereas Ubuntu looks more like Mac OS, and a bit of its own thing, so it's going to take some more getting used to than Mint. But I still love Ubuntu too, it's just that I like Mint more, because it's lighter, supports most hardware, is very easy to use, little to no maintenance is needed with Linux Mint, you simply check for updates whenever you want, without being forced to install them, and, you get more privacy in general, because the OS does not send any data back to a big corporation, although browser like Google Chrome will definitely keep track of those pages you go to. Luckily for you, you can get an amazing browser, called Brave Browser, which is a privacy-friendly browser, with tokens, known as Brave Rewards, and it respects user privacy, and it automatically blocks ads and trackers without the need to install a separate ad blocker, which is great if you're concerned about your privacy, and Brave Browser is available on all official OS's, Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and iOS. Would I recommend you try out Linux Mint? Yes, because the way Windows is going, it's going to be a subscription-based OS one day, we will probably have to pay and have ads shoved in our faces, just to use Microsoft Windows, and Mac OS is barely any better, the only OS that respects you these days is the free ones like Linux or BSD, so if you do not wish to stay on Windows forever, definitely consider trying a Linux distro like Linux Mint, it's excellent. Alrighty, that's it for this video folks. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and do enable notifications, so you won't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.